Hong Kong has about seven and a half million people that live in a fairly close uh, area um, and this is all around the coastline so it's an archipelago so we have a lot of marine environment around this coastline and of course these many people in such a small area have a huge impact on the marine environment. Alors ce matin là sur Hong Kong il y a, il y a une activité de ramassage de trucs sur une plage et là on, on est invité sur l'événement donc on va finir ce matin. C'est hallucinant parce qu'on est arrivé ce matin euh, vers 8h. On voyait du plastique c'est sûr, hein. mais on ne voyait pas qu'il y en avait énormément. Et en fait euh, au bout de même pas une heure, hein, c'est ça, bah, en fait il y a un gros monticule énorme. Dès qu'on soulève un caillou, on en partout. Et là il y a des plongeurs là, qui sont à, en train de revenir. Pareil, ils sont chargés avec des bidons. Ah, c'est impressionnant. Hein. So we are here in Crescent Island. Crescent Bay, uh, Hong Kong, and we are just getting ready to do our first sampling in Hong Kong. It's very early in the morning, so there's a lot of fog around, and everyone is pretty excited. Corals here um, don't look super happy compared to other locations in the world because it's a very marginal coral habitat so uh, the corals are struggling especially now at the end of winter the water temperatures here in winter are 18 to 19 degrees so we don't have like uh, along the equator we don't have huge gigantic reefs because they can't grow up it's more like a lot of corals that grow next to each other but they are not able to build a big structure Generally, you can see a lot of traces of anthropogenic impact in the corals around Hong Kong. So on this dive, one of the first things I saw was uh, for the plastic sole of, uh, of a sandal of a flip-flop. Um, so there is trash around and you'll see it everywhere. This is one of the more remote locations where we are at the moment at Crescent Island. But still, you do see trash and pollution and you don't have to look too close into the coral health or the coral growth to see that also sewage and nutrients have an impact here. 